Asha Paro, YNS7. Today, I got Juan from One and Fitness. Juan, how you doing today? I'm doing amazing, brother. Glad to be here. Glad to be speaking with you and sharing some content. How about yourself? How are you doing today? Man, it's always a perfect day. Always a perfect day. I appreciate that. Appreciate you joining us for the for the people. So what we got here today is we're going to, I wanted to have a discussion with you real quick. Mm -hmm. We're going to title this thought, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's going to be the movement and training of, all right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, so when we get into, into the etymology of the word thought, it's actually mm -hmm. uh, to conceive in the mind, consider, right? To think. And then the conception is all about like, you know, uh, to be, to bring the seed in the womb or to become pregnant, right? So my question for you from, from a, a nutrition and fitness standpoint, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people are going through a lot of things right now, especially being in lockdown, uh, coming out of lockdown, um, restoring their motivation and their willpower with that. So, so let's talk about that from like, uh, cause on the spirit level, you know, we got the spirit mm -hmm. impregnates the mind with mm -hmm. the thought, right? Mm -hmm. And then the way I see it is the thought then impregnates the body with the action, right? Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. then impregnates, so the body, the action impregnates the world, mm -hmm. with whatever we're trying to manifest, right? I totally agree. I totally agree with you. So in first, as I tell all my clients and I, I tell all the people that I meet with is, it always starts with a thought the thought that you want to change, the thought that you want to transform your life. And you must transform from within. If you're still having those blockages of not letting the new things coming into your life and the new version of yourself come into your life, it's going to be pointless, the whole exercise, the whole nutrition, because you're going to start resonating at the same lower vibration that you have on the past. So it's going to be more harder for you to implement a very good lifestyle, a very good exercise, a very good nutrition habits, a very good confident habits, motivation, everything all together. Because the whole reason why I tell all my clients, we start from within so we can reflect outside. So everything starts from within and letting all those blockages away because mm -hmm. otherwise you're never going to change. If your mindset doesn't change, it doesn't matter like the workouts that you do and all this stuff. You're going to go back into that point because your mind, your spirit is vibrating into that frequency and it's not going to the frequency that you want to become. So totally, it always starts with the mind, then just go to the spirit. And uh, after it's just going to reflect it into the matter, into our body that is going to be the last layer that we want to uh, manifest in our life for sure. Awesome. So, so now the spirit that hit the mind, mm -hmm. the mind that hit the body and the body want to hit the world with a new nutrition program. Mm -hmm. how, how does a person, what, what, you know, outside of, they need to contact you, right? Of course mm -hmm. for that Absolutely. coaching and you got 30 minute weekly, one-on-one -on -one calls. I mean, you got you got rescheduling programs on a monthly basis, even more if that's what they need and that's what their budget consists of. So how do we, generally high-level overview speaking, how do, how do we take someone from their prior nutritional habits, right? Mm -hmm. Just to get over the hurdle to say, man, let's get started. So basically, how we start, I basically, I always start with a consultation. I want to see what's your level of, uh, first of thought, what's your level of awareness about fitness that you have? What's your goal? And the first thing that I always do is like, let's set up a goal. What goal do you have? If you don't have any goals, I will create one. We're going, I'm not going to create. We are going to do all together because your path is totally different than mine. And if you don't have a goal in mind or you don't have like anything to figure out, we're not going to hit that wall. So I start like this first to know who you are, what's your story, what's your up to, did you have some coaches on the past, what did work, what didn't work, and I start from that. And then you start creating the perfect program that actually can fit your needs. And it's not going to be like a 
how's it called? Like everything that they do on the gym that is already pre-made and they don't even know anything, like nothing about you. And mm -hmm. then basically it's like, hey, you do this. And then it's like, I don't see any results. It doesn't make any sense. Right, right. Because it wasn't customized for your special needs in the matter. And, and to put you on a path to what your actual goal is, which may be different than other people. So I like, I like how you're going to take, you know, the combination of spirits, because when we talk about um, the law of attraction and power like that and stuff, the only thing that makes it more powerful is multiple minds focused on the same thing. So you guys, you're going to come together with your client and, and, and create the program that's going to be best for them. Now, as far as the nutritional itself, the nutrition itself, what recommendations do you have? Why is it important as far as, you know, when people feel like they're okay in their mind? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm, 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 I'm a large guy. I've been 300 pounds my whole life. You know what I mean? Football, basketball, every day. I'm running around 300 pounds. I was just used to being it. But let's say somebody that's in their mind and they feel like they're okay, mm -hmm. whether they are smaller than me or not, right? Tell them why that nutritional element is important to them to consider. Okay, so basically, for sure, it's like it starts with your mind, as I told you before. But the body, you need to take care of the body if you want to experience more productivity and more outbounding and more results. Because if you, do, if you don't take care of your body, your stress levels, your sleep, your cognitive levels, your energy levels are going to be reflected into that. Mm -hmm. So in order to add another layer into that, that's why your nutrition, you must take care of that. I'm not saying just go to the stream, but I'm just saying you need to have some path and some uh, steps that you need to follow through in order to experience like the whole results of a better lifestyle. Exactly. I like that. Okay, that makes sense. Because now you're, you're exercising, you're, you're gaining your spirituality, it's affecting your mind differently, and you want to go out and be in nature because that's going to help tie it all together. You know, you want to do all that stuff. So now you need to, because your, your body is the vessel for the spirit or soul, right? So you got to be able to maintain your ship, just like maintenance on a car, right? So Absolutely. now that, now that gets us into the workout programs. I mean, you yeah. offer a lot of opportunity there for people as well, right? Yeah, basically what I just realized is like most of the people, they don't even know what they're exercising. And most of the coaches, they just give you, okay, you got to do this, you got to do that. But they don't tell you the how of the things. I'll guide you like hand by hand. It's like, hey, this is the step. We got to go all together. We're going to, if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'll tell you how you can do your own workout routine. So you don't need any personal trainer, any nutrition coach, anything like that anymore. So you can do it all by your house. And it's like, it's, it's, it's going to be so much beneficial for you. So you don't have, you don't need like a guidance. I mean, probably like a person that makes yourself accountable, but you're going to have the whole information that you need to do it all by yourself. Great. Great. So you, you're, you're making them, you're empowering the people, not making them dependent upon you. So that's freedom right there. Um, now tell me about how like, okay, so we get the mind going, right. It's going to connect with the body better. Cause we're, we're, we're better the body's in a better uh, performance level, right? It's optimized. Mm. Now, how does that cycle return? I think that's going to actually cause increase in the manifestations in life probably, right? Now you got a better signal or connection with your thoughts and everything. You're able to go out there and make things happen better. How has, what can you share from that experience with your clients and or yourself even? Big time. So I have like three stories that I want to tell you. So the first one is with me. Mm -hmm. It started when I started like meditating, everything just started to change because I went to a physical realm or a physical form into more like connection with source and it started to manifest in good things in my life. But I wasn't taking care of my physical body and my mental habits as well. So everything has to be all together. So I started to manifest. The more that I start to manifest is when I actually start taking care more about my body, more about my appearance, more about my mindset, and every single day, like constantly, constantly, constantly. And it just went into a point that I just write down the things that I just want to manifest for the day. 
And apparently, like some trick of magic is like I made the people in the right time. I contact mm -hmm. like they contact me without like me like contact them sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's insane. That it was like another level of manifestation that you have to just go walk by, and then like the people just come to you, like the the real people that you want to manifest in your life. So, and, uh -huh. so you so you one of the key like you mentioned there is the mental habits, and that's like the title that we're going on here: training the thought. You know, so the one thing that does help with that is the vision board or, or journaling, writing it down and stuff. So go ahead, continue. With so another thing that I just uh, experienced, it was one of my stage four clients. Uh, he has cancer, stage four. So basically, I just start to implement some good habits with him. But I just realized it's like I went super psychological, more about the mindset. It's like how he thinks. And I started to tweak that. It's like, what do you feel like that? What are your thoughts? It's like, blah, 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 blah. And then what I just realized is like, just the connection that I just get with him, it opened the door. He started to manifest in his life without like me in like interacting with his relationships. He started to manifest like some uh, natural herbs. Like people just come to him to just like, hey, you have can you should try this for energy. You should try this for energy. Mm -hmm. And it was like people coming to him in order to help him instead of like he reaching out. So that's, that's another thing. And you had you had one other one other um story you wanted to share too? Another story that happened probably recently. I met one of the best clients that I just met so far. He's uh he's an entrepreneur and he basically like I've been like trying to work with people like that during the last year. And I finally get into a person that I just want to work with that I just enjoy to work with and it was all by writing by journaling by imagine myself meeting those kind of people and basically it was like click I just manifested on like okay like basically reality it's all about putting the right work putting the right mindset and just be ready just be ready and be more in tune with the divine pretty much that's how you actually uh get to a next level but the thing is like if your mind is not right if your body is not right if your uh spirit is not right uh you're gonna manifest those people but if it's if if it doesn't if you are not going to feel like 100 percent sure like yeah. you're gonna repair all those people's away or like that uh interaction is not going to be like that genuine and you're going to feel uh different you know it's like it's it's, it's tricky. You have to be 100% prepared because the universe is going to send some stuff to you. But if you're not mental, physical, and spiritual, those opportunities, they're going to fly away. Yeah, it'll be like a short circuit in the body and things will just, eh, 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 does not compute. So, yeah. uh -huh. so it's cool how you're sharing from a from a business standpoint, you know, once you focus on it, do the, do the mind training, um, your thoughts actually does create the action in the universe to manifest what you're looking for from your standpoint of an entrepreneur versus someone with maybe a more traditional nine to five job do you find that people have a harder time when they're an entrepreneur because maybe they're committed to much more hours of work in some cases generally speaking or do people that have a regular nine to five where they're so involved with the regular routine mm -hmm. is it more difficult for them to you know make the transition from old ways to new ways what do you see about that what can you share with the people so to be honest, okay, there are like different mindsets. And I was talking with one of my clients today in the morning about it. So I'd like to talk again. <laughs> uh, so the thing is like the mindset of a nine to five to an entrepreneur is totally different. So the nine to five mindset is probably more like work, more about like, hey, I got to do this. I got to do that. Mm -hmm. I need to still to clock in like sort of like kind of like patient mentality. Instead of like entrepreneur, it's like you're on your own boss. And if you screw it up, it's like, it's all your fault. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's super different. Like the people that you work with, it's like, if they are currently working like nine to five, they're going to have like that mindset. It's like, okay, yeah, I don't have time. I don't have like this. I have like work. I mean, they can work with you, but it's not, the, it's not going to be like the same level of mind of open mind. It's like, okay, I'm going to see like new possibilities. Working with entrepreneurs is more they are always busy because they're always like working in your in their passion they're always like driven they're always like doing they're always like boom 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 boom. so they have the skills of 
they don't have time, but in reality, they do have time, but they don't make the space in between. For nine to fives, it's like, it's a little bit hard to implement. And the fact is like, you got to motivate them a little bit more because entrepreneurs, they're all already driven. The only right. thing that you need to is like getting the tools that they need and then being receptive to learn all the stuff. Instead yeah. of like a nine to five, you need to a little bit pushing him. It's like, hey, <laughs> right. it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. You, you got this. You got all the stuff. But yeah, I, I, that's, that's my thing about, about the mindset. It's, 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 totally, it's totally different between a nine to fiver than an entrepreneur. Okay, people. So there you go. You see that there is a difference. See what side of the fence you're on. And maybe what you're feeling, you now know that you're no different than a lot of other people. So it's just a matter of getting out there and get started. It's the, it's the, I think what Juan was covering was the difference between the feeling like, oh, I got to do it versus I get to do it. You know, the excitement level, of, let's get it done. Let's get it. Um, so now with all that on the table, you also offer um, like lifestyle coaching and everything too, right? As a whole. So now tell, tell them, they got the fitness, they got the, I mean, as far as the workout, the nutrition, I like how everything's connected to the spirit, the mind, the body. It's very organic, very natural. What elements do you add in for them with the lifestyle course access? So the lifestyle core access, you're basically, as I mentioned before, the nutrition, the exercise, and many other tips that can help you at like confident levels, how to manage your stress levels as well, that are super crucial because most of the fitness trainers, I mean, they tell you how to work out, how to exercise, how to uh, eat correctly, but they don't know like the, like the whole source about like how to get your stress levels down, your confidence levels, they don't mm -hmm. work in that. And I just realized, as I know, it's like, okay, I breaking down my life, how I get into the point that I just want to be. And it was like four or five different layers. So I just break it down to nutrition, exercise, but there is more. So I'm like, okay, start to research it. Confidence level, stress levels, stress levels management, confidence, mm -hmm. and sleep. If you master all those, your lifestyle is going to change and you are going to feel better your thoughts are going to be more clear. You're going to start manifesting so much faster. And it's like life becomes a little bit, a little bit nuts. Like life becomes like a dream, to be honest with you. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, people spend a lot of money when it comes to health issues, when it, when it becomes a problem. And, you know, a study I've done was in a toxic workplace which I guess you could spill that over to any toxic environment, mm -hmm. maybe continue prolonged toxic relationship experiences, stuff like that, right? Whether it's family, friends, what have you. It increases the cortisol levels in the body, which over time causes like entire systems to shut down. So people that have digestive issues, people that have um, nervous system issues, people that have uh, cardiovascular issues, sometimes it's not as much based upon their health or i mean of course it is overall me i'm not being too technical but it's more so based upon their lack of stress management and prolonged exposure to toxic workplaces and that induces stress so that's a great savings a great value that if you come in get with a, uh, a high level experience professional like yourself get control over that in their life they're going to not have all of that build up later on in, the, in their whatever part of their life later on where they got expenses and problems because they didn't maybe spend some time and put a budget together for you, right? Definitely, totally agree. So that's the thing is like most of the people, they think they need medication and they need like weight loss pills and they need all the stuff or maybe they have a, a lot of issues because I have a, a lot of clients in the past that they did have a lot of issues. But if you only like being like true with yourself and make sure you have like these uh, areas of your life, like in point, you don't need, to be honest, you don't need like any more medication. Like right now it's like, I only just manage all the stuff, my stress, like how's my stress? I ask my body, like having like that body connection. It's like, okay, how you feel? Do you feel stressed today? Do you feel anxious? Mm -hmm. Why do you feel like that? And it's like having like that compassion with your body. You really... I mean, I'm just saying for a good perspective, I mean, take it or leave it. You don't need any more medications anymore. That's why it's uh, 
so much important to take care of those areas and the investment is honestly is is priceless exactly. i mean your health and well-being is is priceless and once you know how to work with this uh body and how to work with your mind you don't need any more professional to tell you it's like no you gotta do this you gotta do that no your own body has the same chemistry to heal every single disease that you have mm -hmm. we are we have the power to to cure cancer we have the power to cure any single disease but the thing is like big pharma they don't want us to know all the stuff right because they're 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 making tons of money they're tons. making tons of money and make us make us sick with those uh uh drinks with a lot of sugar with the music with the uh information that we consume they make us into a fearful state as you mentioned like cortisol levels are so high so basically your your body how do you expect your body to live well if you're constantly like agitated if you're constantly like hey no, no, no like super in a in a bad state is is alertive state is it is a state like basically your body's using all the energy in order to attack so right that's why it's like most of the people like after a nine to five it's like they're exhausted that's why you're exhausted and that's why like most of the people that are like oh my gosh i need coffee and need this and then it's like it's like at a rat race mm -hmm. you're like do, 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 the spin the spin the spin but the more you invest in your health the more you invest in your well-being it's like you don't have to, you're not gonna have like any diseases in five years and they're gonna sell you like probably more than a hundred a hundred thousand dollars or even more in medical bills if you think about it is a perfect investment that you can do in your life. I agree. And so basically what, what we got to do people is realize that we formed habits over a, maybe in some cases, a long period of time. Now we got to form some new habits so that you can live a full lifetime. Juan, I appreciate you today coming and sharing everything with the people. Now, with the technology that's available, you can actually do a lot of this stuff remotely and you have um, programs and the ability to send them workout plans and sh actually show them what the steps are, have them show you what they're doing, give them some tips and updates or maybe corrections or whatever, et cetera. So you can do that all remotely. How do they, how should people get in touch with you to, um, for consultation? So to be honest, they can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is one a n fitness one, and you can send me a DM or you can send me an email that is one a n fitness f i t n e s s s at gmail.com. and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Remember, people, that's three s's on the email. Okay, so what what we're gonna do on? We're gonna get out of here real quick. Do you have something you want to leave the people with? So to be honest, guys, is uh, if you need any advice, anything like that, I have a Facebook group. If you want to join, it's totally free. If you want to see what's my work, what what I do, what I teach, and if it resonates with you, you're more than happy to contact me or see my content and see if we can be a very good fit to work. I'll be more than happy to help you out with those questions and. Remember, guys, take care of your mental, physical, and spiritual health because it will pay off and it will, you will start shifting into the best version of yourself, pretty much. Yeah, it's that, that uh, what they call it, the, the trilogy, mind, body, and health, um, oh, yeah. mind, body, and spirit. So I really, to be honest with you, I really appreciate the fact that you, you, you do have that holistic element and the spiritual element with it, and it's not just about... Um, you know, the, the physical and the material stuff with that. So I think that's going to really encourage a lot of people, really attract a lot of people because it's a different element that you don't see everywhere. So I appreciate you today. I'll put all your details in the comments below thank of, you so of the, uh, the video. And thank you for your time, Juan. Your Pasha. Thank you so much for your time, dude. I'm glad to meet you. And for sure, I'll be more than happy to help more people to get that connection, mind, body, and spirit connection and be more aligned. <laughs> Pasha Paro, YN7, thank you for tuning the replay. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs>